Welcome to a new video. As I got asked last time about the LG G7 and Android 10, what are the new features of Android 10? I want to show them to you right now. First, the biggest improvement with Android 10 on the LG G7 is the speed, the overall speed of running applications, of starting, switching applications and all the animations that you can see in the Android system itself, they have been improved. So the overall speed of Android is way better and you can see it also with all the smoother animations here when multitasking for example and all the other little things that uh, when closing for example it is flowing into the app icon. This is really really cool and uh, shows that uh, LG optimized the system even for older smartphones just, just like the LG G7. Then we have gestures. Of course you saw it already that I'm using gestures here to swipe around so the new Android 10 gestures are, mid, are also on board in contrast to other companies that sometimes even with the Android 10 upgrade leave them out. Uh, Sony for example uh, on some devices. Then we have a new design for the top bar and quick toggles. As you can see here I have my top bar with uh, some notifications here and here the quick toggles and you can see this is the new design that LG introduced in newer phones that is a bit of a flat icon design and it's only in black so even if I have a white theme running here right now you can see it in my, if I go into an application it's a light theme I have running here if I go into the mm, uh, in the in the quick toggles here uh, I see I have a dark color here and I have also the option just like in other LG uh, older versions as well to customize my menu the way that I like to have it. So the new top menu is also part of Android 10. Then new settings. Let's go to settings and you can see that the old design that LG had for a few years that put the different settings into categories under different tabs is gone now. We still have categories. You can see it here visually but it is a long list just like on other um, flagship phones and other phones of other brands and of course stock Android itself. It also offers like stock Android itself some options at the top that you might want to change frequently. Um, for example turning mobile data on or checking my place. And yeah we have the different settings here you can see they are not so many as on Huawei for example or Xiaomi or other. So they are still compact because most of the settings are then concentrated under one big setting still. So if I click on display for example I get many options in terms of display options. You can see many more than on other devices. So I have also the option to set my home screen here. Wallpaper, the font, uh, I have the always on display which is not new in itself because I think it was available for uh, the LG G7 already but the always on display if I turn it on I have the option to uh, uh, configure it here. So not only turning it on but I also have the option to choose the theme that I want to have digital, analog, dual clock, a calendar or an image if I like to. If I go to image I have the option to choose and customize here between various different images that I can show. I know it doesn't make sense to have an LG G7 with an LCD display and an always on screen but it is good as an option I would say and you can of course also schedule it which is I think this is one of the best features I think if you just cancel out of here you have the option to daily timeout to set a daily timeout because this is really really cool which allows you to uh, save a bit of uh, the special battery. If you want to have an always on display but only when you are really awake so not when you're sleeping you have the option to schedule it here as well and you can of course also choose brighter display to uh, uh, have it very very bright as a bright option. So let me show you the always on display. Here you can see it is smoothly fading in and it's the default one. It shows me all the notification icons, my battery status 
and my clock and I can configure this as I said before so I have the option to go in here and uh, configure it for example quick tools and music player can enable this and then I have the option to do this as well to have this as well and of course the images we have various different images and not only static images but also GIFs are in here so you can see it is doing a little GIF animation here for the various different um, uh, always on displays and I think I saw a lot of configuration tools on Huawei on Xiaomi as well but I never saw uh, such variety of different themes and uh, options to configure the uh, always on display so this is one thing where Huawei is really really uh, good when it comes to this I also have uh, the option to go into my gallery and choose some images or from my wallpaper use the wallpaper as an always on display as well so this is pretty interesting not so much for GLG G7 I would say because it doesn't have an OLED but for uh, LG G8 for example V50, V40, V30 that have an OLED I think this might be very interesting and what do we have else a scheduled night mode which is also very interesting so we are still on the display tab and I go into night mode night mode is nothing else than the dark mode that other people call dark mode so I turn it on you can see it's a dark mode again doesn't make much sense on the LG G7 because it's an LCD so you don't really uh, have a better battery life by using dark mode because the pixels are still on here even in in dark mode but um, it is interesting nevertheless because for eye restrain so in daylight just like right now it doesn't make sense to use the, day, the, the night mode because your eyes are used to the light so looking onto something dark widens the pupils and makes it a bit um, it's not let's say it is not very healthy for your eyes but in the dark if you're in a dark environment lying in your bed all the lights are out and you want to just read something um, on your Twitter feed or something like this then the night mode makes a lot of sense because otherwise the screen is very bright and your eyes have to adapt and it uh, might strain your eyes so it is very nice and I didn't see it anywhere else that you have an option to set a schedule here for the night mode for the dark mode itself I wish other manufacturers Huawei, Xiaomi and uh, Sony would do the same thing having the option to say okay I want to automatically toggle the dark mode the night mode when um, it's getting dark so I can turn it on from sunset to sunrise it will automatically see which sunrise or uh, sunset we have in your region and will then automatically uh, go and uh, set this otherwise I can set a time here especially um, that I want to uh, have my device changing from light to dark mode and uh, this is very very cool I would like to see this somewhere else as well then this is one of the few settings there are of course screen colors as well that you can change various different modes I think they were also available on the um, Android 9 version already but what I s saw in comparison to Android 9 version the default the auto one it has a better uh, balance than on uh, the uh, Android 9 version for example which is very interesting here I have the option to change the color temperature but I like the one the, the default one uh, usually on the the older versions I would go to warm but here if I go to warm it's somehow getting a bit bluish for some reason and if I go to a cooler temperature it's getting a bit more greenish so I think the the one in the middle makes uh, a lot of sense otherwise if I don't like if I think it's a bit a tight a bit tad too much uh, blue you can just introduce the blue color here and it's getting a bit red and uh, yeah this is one of my settings that I like to do it's like I don't like have it on, on the maximum blue uh, go one step down here doesn't allow me now to go down oh because I'm touching the screen above though this is the setting that I like to use usually so this is uh, also possible and of course you have some app scaling settings here for con compatibility uh, that you can set up here as well and you can change the screen resolution if you uh, want to save uh, preserve some uh, battery you can just go to the medium one which is uh, 1080p 
or you can go even lower which is uh, 720p but this is also possible to do it here I'm not sure if it will automatically also go into lower resolutions if you'd like to mm, I didn't see it yet then we have auto brightness and so on some different settings here as well but in general those are the Android 10 settings and uh, one last thing that I want to show you is also pretty handy is if you go into multitasking view and let's say I have my file manager here and I want to open my browser um, right next to it or something like this. I have of course the multitasking option that we already know, the split view, but you always have also now the option to click on an app and say multi uh, window. Uh, this is the multi window option, it gives you a small tutorial and I can then have my Chrome down here. But what if I want to have a different application open as well? Uh, just like for example, let's choose gallery here. I have the option to go pop-up window instead. So what I have here right now is a pop-up window of my uh, application running and I can open my music application in the background. So now I have my split screen running, I have my file manager here, I have my music here and I have another window open here that I can minimize into an icon and whenever I need it I can just open it up which is pretty nice. I can also go to full screen as well for the application. In this case it is going then into the uh, because we are on the split screen it's going down here. Uh, so this is possible with applications as well. I can go out of it as well as closing this. So very nice update with Android 10. A few optimizations. I think the LG G7 yeah, is revived with Android 10 really. The performance is better, the features are better, the design is better, the settings are sane. Now I would say the scheduled night mode is there. You have the customizability of uh, Android 10 uh, with all the good points and the speed is very good. It is still uh, a flagship from two years ago so don't expect it to compete with flagships from nowadays but when it comes to mid-range devices especially when you take a look at this price range of this device it's definitely one of the contenders that you should take a look at especially if you can get a good deal out of it uh, that's everything for this video hope you enjoyed it if i left something out if i forgot something you can write in the comments what is your favorite android 10 feature on the g7 or v30 v40 or v50 um, write it down in the comment section. That's everything for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Until the next time. Bye.